welcome back to my channel if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel my name is nicole let's get this vlog started ego said hello come on you know what day it is huh it's lunar new year it is currently 2022 um lunar new year which is the year of the tiger and i'm so excited because today me and our daughter are going to get some or do some fun some some fun stuff excuse me and it all is really going to start here uh right as i'm speaking <laughs> i actually just put up my hair in a bun as well as put this beautiful pin lotus pin that i got from one of my good friends um for christmas her name is michaela i am so blessed to have her as a part of my life and then y'all probably have seen this in a previous vlog um i think it's my lush vlog what i got um from lush and or lush haul i am gonna actually put this in my hair today and i have a beautiful red dress that i'm going to wear later tonight when we go to belair oops here yeah, baby oh excuse me just have a seat there you go i swear i'm not abusive it's just because he's old and he can't really see slash here here uh, he has difficulty comprehending what I need him to do, so sometimes I have to be a little forceful, but I never hurt him. Never, ever. So yeah, I'm just rolling it up, and I'm going to roll this, just put it into my bun like so, and just tie it gracefully. Oops. Oh, that looks cute. Probably I should have put it at the end, like where the where the tail is at the end. But we shall see. It kind of looks weird, but whatever. I kind of like it. Um, but anyway, I am going to stuff some envelopes and kind of show you guys what I do for Lunar New Year slash put some um, fun facts about Lunar New Year um, up randomly here. But basically, um, it's the year of the tiger, which this year it's supposed to bring forth bravery, strength, and courage, and a whole lot of other things. But those are like the main three things that I know of um, that like kind of coexist with the year of the tiger. Um, something that I hope I could definitely be more brave about is speaking my mind um, because of my lineage i haven't been really good at doing things like that so this will be quite interesting um something uh i want to encourage or courage rather is we're going to go skydiving and i don't really have a fear of falling or heights or anything like that but i definitely need to encourage because i have been asking people for their um skydiving videos and i have kind of creep myself out a little bit um for those of you who are mothers and or expecting mothers or what have you you know what i'm talking about when you google videos or like ask people about how they gave birth or whatever you start like freaking yourself out yeah that's kind of how i'm doing um in that aspect and then um bravery courage and strength so something i hope that i can get stronger in is definitely um kind of associates with my bravery like speaking my mind um and stuff like that but i think something would also probably be my workout routine and um food having uh not to be i guess gluttony not no gluttony because uh, gluttony is a sin i guess or whatever but yeah let's go ahead and show you guys what i do for the lunar new year oh fun fact 
Um, last Lunar New Year, which was the year of the Ox uh, 2021, I got the special notice of um, the approval for my home. So uh, is it a notice? Technically, it's a congratulations. I got the congratulations for my home, um, which was super exciting. What a way to start the, new, the Lunar New Year. Last year, I got um, my home. And so to honor that, I just wanna show you guys something here. I got, do, 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 do. It is a blessings from our temple guest book that I am uber in love with. Um, it's a custom book. It's all blank pages, um, but some people did write in here. I'm not going to share to you what they wrote in here, um, but basically I got this book so that way people who spend the night, who stay over, they can write in here something sweet for me and Arturo, and hopefully we can fill this book with a bunch of memories, and whenever we possibly move out of this temple because we're not planning to stay here long we can definitely look back at this um, but I'm just going to read to you what's on the first page that I wrote uh, many blessings from our temple we hope you enjoyed your stay please feel free to write anything you want to write in here draw a picture tell us a story words of wisdom advice and memories or simply just put your name and the time you visited we appreciate your appearance the enlightened ones and of course i had to end it with that because although i'm not fully enlightened i am more aware and more grateful for who i am and what i have become and what i've achieved in this well last year and this coming year um yeah i'm just i'm uber excited about that so let's go ahead and get started alrighty guys so something I really like to do for Lunar New Year is I like to open the back door to my Zen garden and right now it actually just rained so it doesn't look so pretty out there but it's actually really not that bad um yeah um but anyway Something I really like to do, and right now actually, it's actually burning a little bit, so I'm going to show you a little bit of the action, is that I like to burn some incense with my Buddha and just talk to my inner Buddha because I am Buddha. And I put these red envelopes here. These are very traditional. Um, what you do with these red envelopes is you put money in there and... Um, right now I left the money to the side because I'm blessing the money, hence the incense. I don't know if you can see the smoke um, burning or whatever, but uh, I do burn incense. I pray a prayer over the money and then I stuff the money in the envelope. These are some examples of money envelopes that I got last year from my favorite boba tea place and there's still money in there i don't really use that money just because it's lucky money oh and i gave him some of these moon cakes which here they are we'll let the camera focus in they're actually really good they're like these traditional moon cakes they have mung bean and ooh, there's a little bit of incense on that one they have mung bean and um ube inside of them and they're really freaking good this is a um, bath bomb that I am blessing and I will use later. Um, this is my original uh, Buddha. This is the Dalai Lama back there. Those are the eighth fold path sayings. And this is a crystal, or not a crystal, a salt rock that one of my uh, cousins gave me. And yeah, this is Mother Earth. Mother Earth. And then these are two Buddhas that I also pray with these are the um incense that i use it's called morning zen um they're traditional japanese incense you can also buy those like really expensive um what do you call those um really expensive uh oh my god incense sticks from 
uh, the Asian market, but this is just kind of what I use. And yeah, this is my altar. Although it's really low, I do want to get some shelves and put it um, up high because that's how you're supposed to have your Buddha. Like traditionally, it's he's supposed to be up high. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I have done so far. I'm super excited. Really, I am. And let me go ahead and close this because I think my neighbors are outside. Yeah, my neighbors are outside. Oh my god. Yeah, they're outside. Oh my god. That's weird moment. He was totally watching me talk to you guys. Um, not awkward whatsoever. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I do. And then also these are my other envelopes that I am going to put money in later for the Lunar New Year. Alrighty guys, so right now I am feeling a bit hungry, so I am going to pull out this Milky Faux soup that I am so in love with. Honestly, one of my ex-coworkers gave me a whole bunch of these um, little faux soups. <clears throat> For Christmas one year and I have just been loving these and so I actually buy a whole lot of them from or I bought, excuse me a whole lot of them from the um, Asian market that I go to I use this Oops. and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and make this um, totally not sponsored it is beef flavored and I have these leftover chicken shreds that I think I'm going to put in there because I don't want to waste the food. And so yeah, I'm just gonna grab the noodles and put the noodles in a bowl like so. And I'm going to pour water in them. Oh, they smell so good. So let me go ahead and show you. Let me go ahead and put water. And then I just stick it in the microwave. You can also heat water over the stove, which is what I usually do. But for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and microwave it. Sorry, my microwave is a little loud. We're actually going to get rid of this pretty soon, which I am super excited about. We're going to replace it for a vent hood that... Um, will require us to hire someone because we have these wooden cabinets that we don't want to ruin and it's just going to be a whole last process. I can feel it. Um, but yeah, and I also made these like little sweets. They're these little um, cinnamon apple sweets that actually has the apples that were in my backyard and I'm super excited about these because they just smell so good they actually kind of taste like a Cinnabon <laughs> they actually taste like a Cinnabon um, because it has that sweet buttercream uh, icing that I put on it to melt and yeah just gonna put that right there for now and then, so now that this is, oh, I'm gonna heat it up just one more. I usually heat it for a minute because it doesn't take long for the rice noodles to soften. <clears throat> and yeah, then you just take all this clean up your kitchen because my goodness. You never know when you're going to have guests over, am I right? I've literally been so, because I have, I'm part of the HOA in my community, and so I just have random people come over and vent to me about such and such problem. And so sometimes it's a mess, sometimes it's not. Cool. It's always a surprise with this community. And fun fact, actually, my community is 60% Asian, which is awesome because it's a very quiet neighborhood, 
everyone's really friendly and everyone gardens so everyone is just willing to give you some of their vegetables that they have in their backyard and it's just so freaking awesome honestly i love this neighborhood and i actually put too much water i kind of like my noodle dishes to be a little bit dry so grab your handy dandy chopsticks here move them around move your noodles around you can see from the steam that my noodles are just cooking in the water and i'm actually gonna let this let me see actually they're freaking cooked they're actually almost soft these noodles are so delicate let me get this um, Where's the other one? Oh, fine. Right here? No. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some of the water out from here. But the bowl is freaking hot. Yeah, so basically I don't like watery soup. Like I kind of like it like a vermicelli kind of style. And so, yeah, I just take the ingredients that come in the little bowl and pour it in, like so. And this is fat, which gives it flavor. Like, uh, in order for the soup to have flavor, you have to have the fat which gives it flavor. I mean, you don't have to use the fat. It's just like, I don't know, recommended. I used to work with Vietnamese. I actually worked uh, for a Vietnamese guy for like, I don't know, close to, I wanna say like 10 years because I started employment with him when I was 15. And then uh, I got out of employment with him no, so that can't be right. Maybe it is less than that. And so because I'm using, I'm using, utilizing the pho as a um, dry noodle bowl, I put less of the seasoning salt that it comes with, the soup base, because it is super salty. Oh. It is super salty if I use this whole entire thing. So, and then I got to put some of this. And of course, I know you guys saw me grab that lime. I cut up a whole lime once it's done mixing. So right now it looks like this, right? And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up. Full ASMR. Put it, ah, shoot, this bowl is hot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oops. And then I'm just gonna grab this leftover chicken. Usually I use a cutting board, but I didn't use a cutting board, so don't don't do that at home. Um, and then you just squeeze that lime juice in there. This is a very juicy lime. My my lips are actually watering. Okay, and then let me 
go ahead and get a towel. Wash my hands first, of course. And then get a towel. And then stir it up a bit more. Make sure you move that lime juice around so the noodles can soak it up. Mm. Let me show you the finished product. So delicious. You can actually put this in broth, you know, like I was saying. You don't have to eat it like me. But this is just how I like my noodles. I don't like it really soupy. I like it kind of dry. Sometimes I do like it soupy though. It's pretty good. And if you're like Arturo and me, we love lime. Like I could actually use a whole ass lime, but I'm reframing for the sake of this vlog to utilize a whole lime. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. What is up you guys? So quick update. I am currently on my mat, my yoga mat, and I just wanna show you guys um, some yoga poses that help me um, relax and just kind of release tension whenever I have tension. Um, yeah, this is also kind of my dining room my base area. I know I haven't done a house tour, guys, forgive me. It just hasn't come up yet. I still need to um, do some other things here. As you can see, I still don't even have a picture back there. It's kind of a blank wall. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys. So the first thing I like
that's just something really simple that I do. Um, of course, I do a whole lot more. Maybe I could do a YouTube video on that one day soon. Um, but that's just something I am going to go ahead and show you guys what I do. Um, definitely going to be part of my Lunar New Year routine um, to just do yoga for at least five minutes a day. Um, that's really helpful to just open your body, open up your mind and your spirit and just kind of releasing that negative energy to absorb um, positive, good energy and vibes. Now, uh, again, I'm not the most flexible yoga is and I'm actually like kind of bloating right now because I am on my period, but y'all do whatever you need to do. This is just how I <laughs> do my things so yeah it was obviously really quick i actually pulled it for like two minutes and a half and then two minutes and a half uh, but i always like to face the window looking out into my buddha and my pagoda and yeah i'll catch you guys up uh in i'll catch you guys up uh in a little bit okay Alrighty guys, so I just got dressed. Hold up, hold up, check the drip, check the drip. I gotta move you guys down. Because check the drip. Hey, it's a little chilly, so I put on these um cute little tights, or whatever. I wish they were red to match the outfit, but you it'd be what it be. Oops. Um, but yeah, anyway, we are on our way. Yeah, base here. We are on our way to go and where are we going? Hello, first deliver Hello. some red envelopes. Envelopes and we bought my business partner a sake, which we are going to give him and I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you the rest of the night, but um, just in case I don't close out, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that this is it. Thank you for watching, I guess. Thank you for watching <laughs> and happy Lunar New Year. And I hope for prosperity, courage. Um, what is the, what else is the tiger? Strength, Strength. courage, prosperity, and... Um, yeah, I thought that was all. No, there's three. Oh my goodness. Three. Strength. No, it's strength. Um, courage. Pro no, well, prosperity is always one. There's yeah, another true. one. What is the tiger? It's courage, strength. Oh, and bravery. I, bra I, I hope bravery upon you guys. So anyway, all right. Peace.